Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe post game. So we finished the Olimar's assignment and now we're gonna start cracking on the Olimar's comeback. This is the post post game. So this is Olimar and crew joyfully return to planet Hokotate, only to immediately receive another assignment from the Hokotate Freight President. We gotta find some ship parts, everybody. This is very reminiscent of Pikmin 1. Captain so. Ooh, that aliasing is bad. Oh no, Olimar. That's right, the SS Dolphin. Not in good shape. This is kind of a nice ad. I mean, I feel like the prologue stuff wasn't... You know, wasn't anything special, but I, I like this. I like the the fact that you get a little bit of prologue content between what happened from Pikmin 3 and then now. Looks like the president of Hokotate Freight is never a man to pass up a good opportunity to take advantage of his employees. But we're back! Sort of. This is like Pikmin 3.5. You gotta go retrieve the ship. Wouldn't want to leave collateral behind. That's not good capitalism. We gotta meet our bottom line, everybody. It's important. Okay, I'll spin up. Pick me. I think it's funny that I wax poetic at the end of the of the episode of the final in-game stuff. Where it says, like, the end, and I'm like, oh man, I'm so sad. And then I was like, I wish we could be back, and here we are. <laughs> it's been like a week. All right, so we have, I believe there's 10 missions here. So we're going to try to do a handful of them each of the days that we've got left for this Let's Play. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We will make as much progress as we can in this episode. Probably not gonna... I'm gonna try not to have 45 minute episodes if I can, but, you know. Wow. At least the game is giving us information that we learned eons ago. Okay. So... It seems like this is not too dissimilar from... The Olimar's assignment, at least in terms of the setup. And it appears we have the various onions. We have a red onion, we got a blue onion. And it seems like we get funding from actual collecting of the pickle. So that's an interesting, different touch, I'd say. I don't know what the... There's going to be a ton of differentiation between these types of episodes and then the All Mars assignment. I'm, my, you know, my goal is to show off the entire game, but... You know, I do have a, a mild fear that it's going to be, like, very samey, and I don't want that. So we'll see what we get. Okay. So, so far, so good. I don't quite understand how, like, getting Pikmin increases your money, but... I don't know, I don't really feel... I mean, I'm not complaining, but I'm just not entirely sure how that dynamic works exactly. I suppose we'll take what we can get. The more Pikmin we get, I'm... You can obviously see is the better. We need more Pikmin to... Get more funds. That's a big old 10 pellet. I think there were actually 20 pellets. In the... In the first two Pikmin. Oh, thanks for picking up the... <laughs> no, I want you to pick them, Louie. What are you doing? Alright. Yeah, I remember that... I think there were like 20 pellets. In the original Pikmin, which I think is wild to think about. But I don't remember if that's a thing... I don't know if I've seen any more than a 10 pellet. I think that's the most I've seen. Which you've, you've just seen, so... And it seems like we're getting quite a lot of funding just from collecting... Oh! Ah, uh, Pikmin. The AI in this game is 
It's so advanced and it never causes me any problem whatsoever. I love it. So I'm not entirely sure if this entire day is just supposed to be like this. I mean, they give you a reasonable amount of time. I, you know, I'm not trying to spend all my time just, you know, growing Pikmin. That would be not the funnest thing to watch, I don't think. There's a giant bull board. Having a full stack of reds would help. So we'll see. But yeah, I don't... I think I like the idea of... We'll use Louie and the Blues to... Oh, 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 oh. You have other jobs to do. I think it would be more... You know, it, it would convince me that this wasn't tacked on if this goes somewhere. I don't know. Not entirely sure how this is going to wind up looking. The LMR's assignment stuff, like I mentioned in the previous videos, is cool. Our previous video, it's all in one. One huge episode. You're welcome. It's fun. You know, I think it's interesting, and I think that it... It's pretty exciting, but like, you know, there is an upper limit for that, I think. There's only really so much you can do with, you know, bare bones Pikmin. But then again, I guess that's kind of what Pikmin 1 was. You know, they didn't really have any anything beyond what we're doing here. So we'll take what we can get and stop complaining. We're just being a, a bit of a turd burglar. Looks like there's Pikmin in here trying to hide those Pikmin from me. I don't think so. All right, so we'll attack this bull borb on its butt. As we've learned, attacking from behind is the best way to do damage. And our red Pikmin are falling behind a little bit, so we'll take them, have them take ownership of that giant bull borb. As we'll do it. I think our Pikmin are getting kind of lost. I believe that completion of those pieces will net us the bridge, which is nice. We'll take this water skater out for being an absolute turd burglar. All right. Yeah, it's a lot easier when you're playing this game and you actually throw your Pikmin where you where you mean to. There's a red pellet, which we'll throw the blues at for now just to knock it down because we're right here in the neighborhood. But we'll switch to the reds to take it because we know how to play basic Pikmin now, right? Okay. I do like... God, there's not as much, like, agency, urgency with these side missions. I don't really feel like... I don't really get that sense of, like, impending doom that I have when I play... the regular playthrough. I mean, I don't really get that in general. Like, this is not meant to be a, like, a very difficult game or anything like that. But there were some moments when I would play it and I would like, you have the timer for the day counting down and you know, it does make you a little anxious. As somebody who suffers from anxiety, it uh, it's definitely a situation where I would feel tense and not sure of what to do sometimes and then, you know, this almost looks like this is a little bit of a puzzle. I don't know if that's what the game was going for or not because I don't know how to get up there. We would need to use both of our captains, and I don't know if we have the ability to do that right, right meow. So hopefully that's not all this is. This is not just an attempt to gather Pikmin, because that would be kind of lame. Although I'm starting to kind of get the vibe that it is. Oh, we have a lot of reds now. We've already propagated 95 Pikmin so far, which is great. We are quite the upstart venture capitalist here. I don't know if that's the. That looks like a silver medal. All right. Wow. Thank you, Captain Olimar, for your words of wisdom. We will send Louis back to the Blue Onion, and we will have Olimar. Where are you going? You going to the bridge? Oh, look at that little shortcut. Ain't that cute? That's right. We must investigate Nook's cranny. All right, so giant bull board dead. We love. There's just something really rewarding and cathartic about killing the local fauna and flora. You got to do it. You know, we're just wrecking ecosystems over here. So since you get Pikmin from the enemies in this one, I'm assuming that that's kind of what the goal is here. We're not going to 
100% this because I think that there's another pellet over here that I missed. This would be the blues, which maybe, I mean, if we can pull Louie around the outside here real quickly. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. But those red Pikmin should uh, be better off carrying that giant bull board. That should get us a little bit more funding. I think that there's like a pellet up here that I missed. There's some blue Pikmin too. We will pluck these. I almost forgot how to say that word real quick. Or maybe that... I don't know what I missed. Well, we'll find out. The game will tell me. It's very kind. Okay, so... Oh, we did win! Look at that! Yeah, these aren't too tough. Hundred percent complete, like a bouse. Okay. So, wow. That was incredibly... underwhelming. This just feels like they could have put this literally anywhere else. Like, you finish the game and this is the first thing that they give you. Our landing scared the poor Pikmin, but they've calmed down since. Unfortunately, we miscalculated and touched down some distance from the Onion. I'm not even sure where the ship is anymore. There are dangerous predators on all sides, but we have a job to do nonetheless, Captain Olimar. Wow, what a dedicated employee. The president of Hokotate loves Captain Olimar. Okay, so that was mission one. We'll do another one. Mission log day two, baby. Okay, so looks like we're heading into an area full of bull borbs. Oh man, that sounds pretty scary. Creature hunting. All right, so the, and this is weird. Like this is supposed to be like post game stuff, but it almost feels like the game is rehashing stuff we've already done. I don't quite understand that. At all? No, I don't want to throw rock pick, but I want to open the... Can I not open the, the onion? Okay, great. So no using the onion for us. That's awesome. Love that. This looks like this is a pellet. Another pellet here. We're a little undermanned right now, so... We're gonna have some trouble really inflicting a lot of damage. We're in this huge sand pit. It'd be awesome if our Pikmin could hurry up. There isn't... I don't know if... If I'm, like, missing something? Okay. Yeah, I can't open anything. You know, I can't unpack the Pikmin. We have 57 Pikmin somewhere. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and have Lou investigate while these Pikmin take the pellets back. See if we can find where our other Pikmin are. The onion's getting smaller, huh? That's strange. We'll have Louie check that out. Our Pikmin are taking their absolute heckin' time. Ooh, wait. Okay, so... Well, we have pellets in reverse here. So... We'll have the rock Pikmin take theirs back. And then... We'll put all the reds that we do have. We don't have five. Oh, no, we do. We have five each. Never mind. Math is hard. Okay. So... Yeah, there really isn't... <laughs> Who thought this was fun? Like, in what universe is this enjoyable? This looks like part of the, uh... Oh, the, ew, the one with the lips! Ew! It's here! Gross! Yeah. Not cool. Excuse you. Stupid bug. Oh, you're mine, son. Yes! Got him! Oh, there's another one. Get him! Get him! Yes! That's right. Spoils of War. Okay. So, this is taking me a while. I'm not... There's a lot to do here, like, and they don't really give you a ton of time. So let's switch to the... <laughs> That's right, Louie, you got the right idea, bud. We're, we love taking stuff from behind. Okay, so we have five Pikmin. That means that I can take the leaf. The new leaf. And I can take one of these guys. We'll just have all four of our Pikmin take it. Get a move on. All right. So we should have the requisite Pikmin here now to do some damage with the bull borbs. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Oh, they're all coming in hot. Well, do I have a prize in store for you guys? Dead. Love that. Love that for you. 
dead. Oh yeah. This just feels so good, doesn't it everybody? Doesn't this just feel so good? All right. No, 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 no. All right. No, don't eat. All right. We don't have enough Pikmin as it is, and you're trying to give us the chomp. Can you, can you not? Let's see if we can use the dodge whistle. Oh, we can. That's something I didn't actually use in the, uh, in the main play, because I'm forgetful. Oh, I'm getting you now. Oh, you're, you're mine, son. Or actually, this is probably like mom. You're mine, mom. Yeah, how's that feel? Pretty good. Get him. Yes. Flap dead. Yeah. That's pretty cathartic. Feels good. This probably is putting me on a list, but that's okay. It's for the fans, your honor. Okay. Yeah, this just feels like I'm not doing great. Like, I don't feel like I'm making a ton of progress or anything. And I'm already, like, halfway through this. Where did my Pikmin go? <laughs> oh, yeah, I sent him back. <laughs> okay, well, I don't have any Pikmin to use, so that's awesome. Maybe there's some rock Pikmin around anywhere? Ooh, there's the... Ooh. The onion booty crab. And the nasty lit bulbor. Ooh. Oh, it's so gross. It is so gross. Look how nasty that thing is. I'm not trying to judge or anything, but... Ugh. Okay. So, we've propagated a decent amount of Pikmin, but I don't know where the other ones are. And the onion is not letting me take things from it, which is not cool. Yeah, we'll see how much of this I can squeeze into this episode. We're supposed to be looking for shit parts, but the first two episodes are just, you know, collecting Pikmin. And... Actually, I don't want that to be Rock Pikmin or all. Actually, I need them. We use the reds. Make more of them. Actually, you know what? I am indecisive. I will choose four rock pick or I want there to be more rocks, so yeah, we'll do it that way. Four reds, the rest rocks. Reds can have this. And there's a bridge up ahead, or a wall. Wow. I don't understand how structures work at all. There is a wall up ahead that right here, that I would like our Pikmin to work on. And there are some glass structures that can only be broken down by the rocks, so we will have them do this. Hopefully that goes quickly. I don't know where Louie is. Of Louie explore up ahead, there were the... No, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out, no, go away. Olimar, bug off, jeez. All right, so I'd like to get these. Okay, I can't. This is, wow, this is fun. What a great, what a great experience I'm having right now. Well, these guys have ro have bomb rocks. That's pretty fun. I'm actually gonna see how much damage bomb rocks do to these crystal guys. I forget. I've never actually tried this, so we will find out right now. I might blow off its shell entirely. Ooh, that is nasty. Okay. It's pretty effective, I'd say. I like the sound that Rock Pikmin make when you bonk him against stuff. Ooh, he broke his own buddy's shell, did you see that? That wasn't very nice. Well, he's dead now. That's what you get, you fool. Oh no! Rock Pikmin, run! Run! <laughs> oh, that's what I get. I'm not very good with those bomb rocks, if you couldn't tell. I have a uh, tendency to just let let them fly, and that's not good. Yeah, we were doing really poorly. <laughs> I imagine that uh, whatever the end goal of this is, I'm not going to reach it, because I am being a ding-dong. But hey, you're getting to see firsthand what not to do, right? And, you know, D-Mike Industries, we pride ourselves in, on humility, so... That's what the name of the game is. I think you just need to kill the, the creatures. I don't know if you needed to take them with you. I don't really feel like that's... I mean, you need to make more Pikmin, but for some reason we're not getting... Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. All the gross, the gross ones are eating us. Ugh. That was rude. Well, now we need more rock Pikmin. That's what I get for being inattentive. That's okay. I mean, it's not okay, because that was really bad, but... 
I do remember there being some rock creepers back here, which are useful in attacking the onion booty crab. So we'll pluck these ones and send them back. That's the only thing that kind of stinks about this area is you're kind of stuck in where you can go and getting all the way back to the actual onion takes a while. There's, there's a lot of ground you got to cover. I don't know if I really want to do that. Where is Olimar? He is here. Great. Would love to have my rock Pikmin be the ones to carry those nasty candy shell frogs back, but... Alright. Oh, they're so gross. So gross. We don't want to touch them because they're gross. Do that, though. That's pretty fun, right? Yeah, that's one of the downsides to this is that if you're not paying attention, there's a good chance you could lose your Pikmin. So we are going to try to pluck all the ones we have left. We're gonna, it's like we're even, we have the bronze medal, so that's great. I feel like I just want to kill the big lip thing because I know how much I dislike it. And maybe the nasty, weird crawfish. Yeah. Oh, you're mine. Ah, we're being attacked! Oh, get out of here. No, you stupid... Mm. Ooh, you're making me mad, you gross lip bulb orb. You get back here. You come You come right back. Nope, nope, you stay. Oh, now you're, now you're mine. Now you made me mad. Alright, guys, get him. Get him. Come on, how's this thing have so much HP? Yes. Oh, there's a bomb rock. It's dead. I'm gonna kill you after I kill your family. All right, so we're running out of time here. No gold medal for us today, but... Hey, we got the silver medal, right? You can't win them all. We'll take that. That was actually not very well played. That's okay. This is my first time. So it looks like you get a lot of, uh, a lot of credit if you kill the... If you kill the booty crab and if you kill the amp rats, but we did not. This was not very epic or cash money of us, so we'll do one more today. Well, we didn't find the ship we came for. It's tough to keep the Pikmin safe through the constant attacks on this world's inhabitants. They'd do anything for me, so I have to do what I can for them. Besides, I'm not so bad off. I have the benefit of experience, decent equipment, and Louie. Oh yeah, whatever, Captain Olmer. You talk so much crap and throw shade on Louie. With all that, I should be home with my family in no time. Captain Olimar backpedaling as per usual. Alright. Okay, on to day three. Gonna go ahead and give this one a try. Another try. Gonna make some actual good progress today instead of being a ding-dong. We at least need to get the bronze medal to progress, so we'll do that. We're gonna do our best to be careful here. Remember, you can see how much an enemy is worth when you carry it. So we will... We'll send three back there, and then we'll use the remaining Pikmin to start carrying the the bridge. This part's kind of frustrating because you can't really do a whole lot until you build this bridge. Literally, you are stuck up here until this bridge is built, I think. Unless you can walk off the back of the pot. No, you cannot. So the game railroads you into being up here. That's the best you can do. Which is fun, right? You no, know, it's like, I love being confined to where I'm trying to go. That's good gameplay. We love that. So those guys are gonna keep carrying the bridge. We'll have these guys carry the bull orbs. So we're splitting up the dynamic a little bit. Before too long, we should be able to hop into that water. It'd be nice if Olimar could crack eggs open with his head. It'd be a pretty impressive skill. So what we we'll want to do is, there are blue Pikmin, obviously. They're going to be winged Pikmin. All right. So, no dilly dallying. 
Have Louis go back and grab the rest of the reds. We can continue to... We will continue to build the bridge. It's a lot easier now that we have a mostly full stock of Pikmin. They should only take a moment here, because there are more of them, obviously. It's kind of annoying, though. It says you have X amount of Pikmin on the field, and you can see the blue Pikmin over there, but you really don't. You don't have those Pikmin yet, because you can't get to them. So this last trip should do it. Should be able to build a bridge here. And once that's done, we will split up and have these red Pikmin do different jobs. We'll cut them off here. The bottom of the bridge. Great. Bridge built. Nice. So we've got the red Pikmin. The red Pikmin will go over here. And I will have Almar stay with them. Louie will go into the water. And he will go and scoop up the blue Pikmin, which are right here. I have no idea why the game subdivides things like this. It's very strange, and I don't necessarily care for it, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's just a little shortcut up underneath. There's winged Pikmin down there, too. So we're going to try to get rid of these watery blowhogs as quickly as we can. Hopefully this works. Seems like charging them might be better. We just really need this to be dead soon, be dead yesterday. Okay, great. So we've got the red Pikmin here. They can take out these fire slugs. I forget what they're called. They kind of look like, um, I don't know if this is like, this might just be an American thing, but I remember when there was like that peanut butter and jelly you could buy as a kid that was like peanut butter and jelly in the same jar. I don't know if I ever had it, but I don't remember it being particularly well received or like good. I don't I think that was the case. Like a lot of people were just kind of like, eh, not a huge fan of that. Oh, geez. Excuse you. you you're nasty. You're like the Cromad's younger cousin. Get him, Red Pikmin. Yeah. We'll save that for the blues, though, because they need help with growth. So now we got blue Pikmin. Hopefully double the blue Pikmin will help us to take out the Blowhog. What a Blowhog. I feel like that's like a pretty good, like, sort of innocuous insult. You're being such a Blowhog right now. Like, no one says that. It's kind of inoffensive. I mean, it is offensive. It's meant to be. It's so offensive. You could really offend people by calling them that. All right. So you get um, the the money you get is dependent on the enemies you kill, right? So there are certain enemies that when you kill them, they're worth more money, which the name of the game is apparently, you know, this is Capitalism Simulator. So we will be working on trying to get the winged Pikmin going, the blue Pikmin going, but you can't do one before the other. You have to get the red Pikmin, which unlock the blue Pikmin, which unlock the pink Pikmin, which, you know, is kind of fun. I guess, but it's also kind of obnoxious that things have to be, like, in a certain order. Alright, so the red Pikmin are almost done. We've got plenty of blues. Might as well just pick them over here. You can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you shouldn't pick your friend's nose. Unless you're really close, and then do that, but get consent first. Okay. So if you remember, there's these gross kind of octopus guys down here in the water, which are really fun to kill in their sleep. So we will do that. Those are worth 30, which is good. Quite a bit. There's another one of these octopus. These are these weird fish. I don't like these guys. They're very aggressive. They're worth 30 as well. So that's good. I don't know if there's anything else in this pond. No. So we will send the requisite amount of blues. Take that out and this out. That should give them a pretty good population going forward. I don't know what's up here. Oh, one of these snitch bugs. There's two of them. These guys are really annoying. They're worth 30, so that's a good that's a good grab. Oh, I'm missing. That's great. Stop it. No, why don't you why don't you just why don't you how about you quit? 
How about you quit? All right. I need you to get out, get out of my business and just quit your shenanigans. All right, here's another one sleeping. More fish, not for long. So there should be enough to take this guy down. Just give us another 30. Okay. It's like weird little, uh, like little spouts looks like an organ almost. The kind you play, not like the things inside your body. Okay. And I don't know if that bridge was built, but I think it was, which means that red Pikmin should have... It's the blue bridge that I'm looking for. It looks to be done, maybe? No, there's still bridge pieces in the water. So I will send Louie back to here. Oh, <laughs> the map just kind of reset on me. It's pretty uncool. And we'll send Olimar back to the... Where am I going? This is making my brain hurt. Back to the red onion to grab the rest of the... Okay, so we're doing okay. We will head back to the blue onion and grab the blues, which is straight ahead. My sensitive direction is excellent as always. It's never been a problem, especially not in a let's play that is very dependent on knowing where to go. So, got that going for myself. Okay. So we'll head down here. We can grab the rest of those blue bridge parts, which I believe... Ooh, first off, you're a jerk, and I hit your face. Ha! Ah, but you're dead now. <laughs> All right, where are those blue bridge parts? Here they are. I'm going to bring it around town and grab those. Are they down here? No, why are you sending me here? Game, why are you sending... That is not blue bridge parts. They are here. Oh, but we can't go that way because... Uh, did I trap myself? No. We can just go around here. All right, there's two of these guys. No, no. I don't think so. We tussled with these guys enough in my previous episodes that we know exactly what to do. When in doubt, charge your Pikmin. Seems to be a pretty effective method. No, no. Ugh, guys. Focus on the matter at hand. We're not trying to collect the spoils of war right now. We're trying to build a bridge. We're trying to build bridges. Tear them down. I mean, I'm fine with, you know, pillaging and plundering in the meantime, but... All right, go do something useful. Great. So that should build that bridge. Now, Olimar should be able to have all of the red Pikmin that we have. We actually haven't really done a great job in propagating the reds, but that's okay. We will have... No, guys. We don't need any more of this. We have to build that bridge. We got work to do. We got to rescue the winged Pikmin. You guys can take that if you want. Oh, you're trying to eat one of my blues. Not for long. Oh, no. Well, he did anyway. That was more for revenge than anything else. Okay. So we need to kill these guys really quick. Kill all the bulborbs. We kill the little ones. Ugh. Love that for me. Okay. We have 19 blues. We will have the pinks, the winged Pikmin now. I think that this might be enough to do it. We'll find out as I throw a ton of them on this giant bulborb. Come on, guys. I know that you're not meant for fighting, but you're better than this. Come on. Come on. What is... Why are you so bad? Just do a little more damage. Oh, my gosh. Great. Okay. So we, we, we do at least have some sort of a medal, which would give us the ability to progress. But we're only going to be doing the three episodes. The three missions in this episode, I should say. Okay. We have just enough to... I mean, everything else is just kind of extraneous at this point. As long as you get some sort of a medal, it lets you progress. So our previous attempts at this are... You know, it doesn't matter. We got at least the bronze medal, which is good for us. 
you might be going for like perfection or trying to 100%. I am not because I do not care about that at all. But if you are more power to you, I'm not going to stop you. I don't believe that you get anything from collecting more or less Pikmin. I think that the game kind of just resets in between missions and then you just take what you get. There's three enemies left. I know that there's one of those. There's a craw mad in this area somewhere. I'm not entirely sure, but it's around if you want to if you want to go for that, if you're into that. So we will pluck our newly minted winged Pikmin that we're not going to really be able to do anything with. You have to really move fast. Like, if you want to get 100%, unless there's something that I missed, like, I didn't even make it to one of the gates. Like, you have to really be boogieing. But that should be good enough, I think. Yeah, see, there's a craw mat in the bottom right. That was the one thing we missed that would have... Or there's two of the snitch bugs. Great. So we got a bronze medal. We will live with that. And then in the next episode, we will take on three more. Potentially four. I know there's ten of these total, so I gotta split them up somehow. We found the Hokotate ship. Well, part of it. It looks like the ship suffered severe damage and its pieces were scattered here and there. This all feels familiar, but there's no time to wallow in nostalgia. We have to recover those parts and get them back to the base before the indigenous life on this planet does who knows what with them. Captain Elmer. All right, everybody. That was three missions of the ship rescuing process. And in the next episode, we'll take on day four. Thanks for watching. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 3 Postgame. I'll see you next time. Bye.